All right, we're going to go over short codes right now, which are how to create these buttons and checklists that are cool styled in columns. So we're going to go straight to our page and add one. We're just going to start from scratch. Call us one short code examples. And um, right from the top, you'll notice these buttons. And these will help you so you never have to remember a short code. And this is, if you hover over them, they'll give you a little brief explanation, add a button, checklist, and so forth. So let's start with add a button. If you click it, it basically fills out some information for you. And, you know, you put your text here, so read more. Link, we'll just put in, you know, this is just for demo purposes, we'll just do google.com. And then light or dark, you have a choice of using that light um, button or the dark button and you can't have both so you have to choose we'll just do a light link target that's if you want an opening in a new link or not you can just leave that blank we'll just go ahead and leave that blank let's preview this in a new page what we've created so far so far so good we've got our um, our read more button and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change these fonts for this page so they're dark so we can read what we've got all right, so the next one are these checklists. And these are pretty simple to make. You just click the button and you can just add or remove checklist items as you go. And these two are just stop. Excuse me, but based on the text, you can play around with those. I'm going to leave those be for now. We'll, we'll see that at the next check mark or the next checkpoint that we make. Let's move on to the column short code. I'm going to go ahead and do the one third column. And um, you just click these. We'll just go ahead and add three of them. And one thing to note is you need to have a space between short codes. If they touch each other, um, they'll automatically disable each other. So you just need a little space, just one space in between. And um, so you type your text in between the short code. We'll just keep this one simple, one third, one third, and then final. And if you notice in here, it says last equals no, and that means it's not the last column. And so the last column you need to mark yes. And you're going to need to do that for any of these. So whether you do one half, one third, or one fourth, or any form of them, the last column needs to be marked as yes. Um, you can see in my example I have in the documentation, I have a whole bunch of column examples. Um, you can check that out. But let's see what we've got so far. So we've got our checklist, our button, our checklist, and our three columns that are working pretty good. All right. And um, so the uh, last one we've got is the add a person. And if you click that one, you've got a little text description you can have, the person's title, so we'll do vice president, person's name, we'll just add John Doe, and for an image, you can upload an image. I'm just going to use the, um, the default image in a live preview. I have it on my desktop. You can just grab the link URL. One thing to note is it needs to be 120 by 120 pixels. That's what it's going to be resized to. Just uh, FYI later on when you're using that. Um, so yeah, and you just paste your image URL inside that. And we'll update that and see what we've got so far. Alright, and that is our add a person one. And those are the basic overview of how to get these short codes working. So pretty cool. And it's real simple. You won't have to memorize any short codes. They're all up there for you to use.